weekend. Yeah, support them, yeah. It's going to be nice. Maybe in the morning hours will be the best time, uh, Steve, because yeah. it's going to get hot. Yeah, and then after that, go grab a shake at the Shake Shack. There you go. Come <laughs> to Beaverton. Come to Carly and I's mm -hmm. hood, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, boy, we got some great spring weather on the way, guys. Temperatures near record highs. The record high for tomorrow on Saturday is 81. We're going to be real close to that tomorrow, but a nice dry start this morning. Clear skies, 46 degrees, relative humidity at 76%, per, and the wind is currently calm. But those east winds will pick up a great view. Again, I have to show this from the Columbia Gorge Hotel camera in the Dalles. The sun getting ready to come up over the beautiful east end of the Columbia River Gorge. A cool start for you folks out there in the Dalles at 42. A nice cool start down there along the coast as well. A beautiful morning getting underway in Seaside at 46. Okay, 46 in Portland, 45 Salem, still 42 down in Eugene. We're upper 30s to near 40 along the coast. Southwest Washington in the 30s. There's a 40 at the Dalles. A lot of 30s over on the central and east side of the state. They're very common for this time of the year. Winds are light right now across the region, but again, those east and northeast winds will pick up oh, probably around 9 or 10 a.m. this morning, and they'll extend all the way out to you folks at the coast. So we do have that elevated fire danger today. Red flag warning in effect from 10 a.m. until uh, 11 p.m., excuse me, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. tonight. Dry, warm, and windy weather all up and down the I-5 corridor through the entire weekend. Again, wind gust forecast shows we'll roll this forward into your afternoon on Friday. Notice those winds pick up out of the Columbia River Gorge, the western end of the gorge through southeast Portland, even you folks up in Clark County as well. Here's 430 this afternoon. And those winds will be gusting, oh, maybe 25 or even 30 miles per hour. But here's 10 o'clock. You notice they back off uh, fairly quickly tonight. So it's sort of a one-day event. Day planner today, we'll call it a nice start this morning. Temperatures in the mid and upper 50s by your 9 a.m. hour. And then, boy, a real nice lunchtime hour on the way, somewhere around 70, 75 for lunchtime. And then we're headed for near 80 this afternoon, zone planner shows the coast a beautiful day up there along the northern and central coast. We'll have offshore flow there as well, 72. The valley will go upper 70s. The gorge there about 75 or so. In central and eastern Oregon, a little cooler over there, but the winds continue as well. Don't forget that wooden shoe tulip festival continues down in Woodburn this weekend. Boy, look at that. Just about perfect. Not as much wind down there on Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures right up into the lower 80s. Satellite and radar all high and dry. No systems off the coast coming anytime soon. As a nice area of high pressure continues to expand over the Pacific Northwest this weekend. It'll stay in place for most of next week until we get to about Thursday and into Friday. Upper level low in Canada just changes the uh, flow from offshore to more onshore flow and that'll cool things down. But quick look at that zone forecast for the uh, coast today. We'll call it sunny and warm. A breezy day with those northeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Temperatures there all over the board from the upper 60s into the uh, lower to mid 70s as well. Great day along the way in the valley, warming up. Temperatures right up around 80 coming up for the Portland area. And in fact, on that seven day forecast, you'll see the TGIF forecast there. Beautiful sunshine today. That east wind continues. High fire danger, so be careful outside. Temperatures right around 80. But then Saturday, 81. That would tie the record high for the day. Sunday, another amazing day at 80. And then we'll just cool it down slowly next week. But one thing you do see, no significant rainfall anywhere in that seven day forecast. Carly? Mm -hmm. It looks so good. Can't wait to get outside. We'll